Hi y'all, welcome to Chris and Sam. I am Chris and I'm here to do a second part to the video Sam does my or Chris's makeup, but this time I want to do my makeup how I want to do it. So, first thing we're going to start out with with this e.l.f. SPF 20 with the cucumber, aloe, and all the vitamins in it. Um, I asked yesterday that everybody please comment on um, whether or not you have found these e.l.f. products in your dollar store or um, a Walmart store. So I'm just going to use this brush for doing my foundation stuff. Um, so yeah, this is my tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to put it on real quick. I made a video already, but my computer for whatever odd reason, keeps dropping my videos. So, and this is on the YouTube video maker. So I don't know what's going on, um, but it's very frustrating. I had it look all nice and everything like that, but I'm just going to try and get this done quickly, and that way we're done. Um, a lot of these products I've never used before. The e.l.f. products. I don't usually use moisturized tinnitus. I usually just use my CoverGirl uh, cream to powder. Um, so, and I liked the way when I did my makeup the last time, how when I layered on the make makeup, it seemed to decrease. If you notice, I have dark circles under my eyes. Um, seem to decrease the dark circles a little bit. So, I'm just trying to get this on here real quick, my moisturizer, because I've heard everybody say it's important, important, important to moisturize. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I use, I, on the other one, I use the Dermacil also, but, anyway, we're redoing this. I'm trying to do it quickly, because, yeah. Okay, so I think we're pretty good in moisturize. My next thing I'm going to use, but anyway, that's what I use. I use the e.l.f. with the SPF 20, and this is in Nude. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use is the NYC Ivory Liquid Foundation. Um, like I said yesterday, every time I tried to look for a foundation, they were $10 up to $15. And being as I'm on a limited budget, um, I thought four dollars was a little bit more my price range. I'm rounding up on that, but yeah, four dollars is a little more my price range. All right, let's put this all in. And then we'll use the CoverGirl cream to powder uh, to kind of set this. It seemed to work real well last time. So. So, I use uh, the ivory, Let's see if I can get this to show you, Why? there we go, I use this in ivory, I don't know if I can get this close enough, there you go, um, and this is just the cover girl, it's the cream to powder, this is what I usually use, I don't usually use all these products on my face, but I've heard so many things about how to do this that I just want to try and give it 
a go. So I just loaded up my brush. And now I'm just going to blend it. I was saying in my other video that I made, I kind of wish, I think I'm going to have to invest in one of those little mirrors that I can just set right beside it so I'm not covering up my face when I'm doing this because I know y'all can't see everything I'm doing because I have to use this little handheld mirror. And the thing is I can't hold it far away because it's one of those magnifying mirrors. And if I do that, I can't see what I'm doing. So, I'm just blending it down so I try not to have um, hair in my face. Forgive my mom, she's locked her in. My other one didn't go through, so yeah, I'm gonna redo this. So Okay, so I got the cream to powder cover girl down. Next I want to do under my eyes because I have such dark circles. I'm using this uh LA Colors liquid makeup and true beige just going to dab that under my eyes now I'm going to use a brush to blend this in better because I noticed for me that happens to work a little bit better with the blending process for me. I'm no way an expert at this, but this is just the way I do my makeup. I am not a professional, except as a nail tech. Um, but like I said, I am no way a professional doing this, just the way I do it. Blendy, blendy. I don't know if you can tell, a little bit different under my eyes. I want to use one more product for my eyes, and it's the e.l.f. True, uh, excuse me, it's the e.l.f. Tone Concealer. Uh, if I can get this in the light and not be so, there you go. Um, to put under my eyes so they're not so blah. And just blendy blendy. and voila, under my eyes are done. 
Alright, so. Ooh, that's not good. Would not have been good if it broke. So. Oh, excuse me, my nose is running. My next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to add some bronzer. Now, I tried my e.l.f. and I tried my L.A. color together. Uh, they didn't work as well as I think my hard candy will. Um, this is a tri palette. Um, so, if I can figure out what I did with my e.l.f. My e.l.f. brush that I got yesterday. Where did my e.l.f. brush go? Oh, I got a really nice mini nose. Uh, excuse me, man. E.l.f. brush. Where did my e.l.f. brush go? Ah, found it. I put it away in my brush thing. So anyway, I'm going to use this color right here for my bronzer on under my cheekbones. I want them to pop. So here we go. because of course we know we can always lose 10 pounds under the dog line. So there's the bronzer, now we need some blush, and I think today I'm going to use my LA Colors um, Berry Plum. Throwing stuff around, not good. is added. Okay, I'm going to add some high, some bronzer up here. Um, I don't want it as dark as it's under my cheekbone.
that moment? Being sick? I'm going to use my Mica Beauty Academy. Um, this is full size and it was rounding up. It was about $45. I got this in my BoxyCharm last month. Give the sounds in the background it's a furnace going. Okay. Get out of the way. Okay, so I have my eye base down. I'm thinking. I'll use my Almay colors. Last time I had purples on, but this time I'll just use the Almay um, intense color powder, powder powder shadow ombre ombre. Anyway, uh, it's the trio for browns, so that's what I'm going to use this time. brush box. So, okay, so for my base, I'm going to use this right here, use this for the lower, and use this for the crease. White can be used as the highlighter for the brow bone too. But right now I'm just using it as the base.
lower lid. my new smudging brush that I got from Elf yesterday to do my crease. Uh, maybe that'll do a better job. This is the brush it's from Elf. I am in no way a professional at this. blend in the crease area. Like so I don't know if you can see real well. That help y'all. back into the bottom lid, add some more of that light brown. that I got from Ross a couple of years ago. I'm going to use one of these. This one right here as a highlighter. It's like a yellowy gold, really, really pale gold color. I'm just going to go in here, highlight my brow, like so.
eyeliner. This is from this is a dual pencil from LA Colors. It's got purple and it's got black. Just gonna use the black and hand underline. Do the eyeliner on the top of my lash line. I usually don't do anything fancy. Um, I'm not really good at that. Like I said, I'm not a professional. So there's that eye. As mascara, we're going to use today the Maybelline New York The Falsies Volume Express. foundation and your eye stuff I had to smooth out. Oh dear. It's like I got spider eyes today for some reason. <gasps> I got much scary in my fall under my eye. Why is my hand getting in my eye? Ugh. Go away here.
to put on is lip gloss. So I'm going to use this, what is this? Oh crap, can't even look at it. Anyway, I'm gonna use this. I can't remember where I got it, but use this to put down first and then I'm gonna use the wet and wild sticks in iced berry. There's that, and I know you guys think I'm doing this in the wrong way, but I'm going to add, if I can find it, oh my nose is still running, pencil. I like to use it as a lip liner. So, I know y'all think I'm doing it in the wrong order, but if I put a lip gloss down first, it's not, I don't think, as dark as if I just put it straight down. Makes it a little bit easier to apply. And like I said, y'all probably think I'm making a song, but this is the way I do it. As you can see, I've got a liner on my lips. The last thing I want to add is this uh, iced berry from. Oh, excuse me, not Wet and Wild. It's CoverGirl Wet Slicks and Iced Berry. get a little bit more color. So, there you go. Oh, beautified. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I don't think I did too bad a job using products I've never used before, excuse me. Um, personally, don't get after me. I don't feel I need to contour my nose. I feel my nose is fine. Um, it does look a little bit less hooky in here when I added the, the bronzer to contour it. So... Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my video, and please like the uh, video, please comment down below, and please subscribe to mine and Sam's channel. We'd love to have more subscribers. We have one subscriber now that uh, 
we have and we're very happy to have her. Congratulations for being our first subscriber. Um, I don't know her name right off the top of my head and um, being as I'm recording this, I can't go in and look to see who it is. Um, but I want to thank her very, very much for being our first subscriber and I hope you liked the look that I did. Um, if you want me to do more of these looks, please let me know. Um, I'm sure I will um, to do the, um, this is products used uh, and this is a look type thing like I did at the end of last month, um, but I can put it, we can do an actual video about it. Um, but most of the products I used today were from um, what I had in my makeup box plus uh, a good portion of them were from my boxy charm. I think, well, at least one of them was from my boxy charm. Another one was from my swag box, and then the rest were Dollar Tree and Walmart products. So I hope you all had a very good day, or have a very good day. Excuse me, excuse my speech. I hope you like the look, and please subscribe, like, and comment. Have a good day.